B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. The 2024 Cambodia ASEAN Business Summit was held on April 2, 2024, jointly organized by the Cambodia Chamber of Commerce and the ASEAN Business Advisory Council in Cambodia. The summit brought together prominent leaders, investors, and industry experts under the theme Unleashing ASEAN's Potential, Connectivity, Technology, and Inclusive Growth. Cambodia stands as a vibrant and welcoming partner within the ASEAN community. Our advantageous location provides seamless connectivity across region, fostering a collaborative ecosystem focused on our mutual benefit and regional well-being. Cambodia's strategic membership in key regional and global trade agreements, including ASEAN's ASEP and the WTO, positions it as a highly integrated player within the dynamic global market. ASEAN is projected to become the fourth largest economy in the world by 2030, with the combined GDP of $10 trillion. Cambodia is at the center of ASEAN and is ready to become the strategic link for trade and collaboration within the ASEAN bloc. For those business seeking a manufacture hub or business office to reach 2.5 billion people across the ASEAN, Cambodia is a perfect place for business. Following opening remarks from Prime Minister Hun Manet and Niep Ok Nia Kit Meng, the first session of the day involved a panel discussion on ASEAN energy grid connectivity and ASEAN renewable energy and sustainability. Some 16 years ago, uh, which was not long ago, um, we began our energy system with a heavy dependency on fuel oil. It represented something like almost 90%, 90%. And we didn't have electricity 24 hours a day for most part of the country. It was less than 14% of households having access to electricity, and the cost of electricity was almost a dollar in many parts of the country. Now, 16 years later, because of the continued investment by the government and partnership with the private sector, energy, our energy mix is very different. Today, our domestic hydropower represents about 42%, 42% in the generation mix. Solar energy, more than 10%, plus clean energy import from Laos, which is around 12%. So all in all, we have something like 62% renewable energy in our generation mix today. Putting money uh, from the government perspective, is, uh, I think it's quite challenging uh, because you have to prioritize all, the, all these uh, uh, the sectors. And, and of course, energy will be one of the vital sectors that we could invest more. But difficult to find a bankable uh, projects which uh, you have to include all the private sectors into this project. And then, you know, jumping into green, it will be benefit for, of course, uh, uh, which is put in the pi uh, policy of government, but you would also benefit, you know, convince all private sectors that jumping into green or renewable energy would benefit on the trade as well, because you would benefit from the um, uh, international market that you, you sell the green. It's, it's a, a brand for you to, uh, to sell it in this time. Yeah, I just want to share a first congratulation to Cambodia on the, I think, a very uh, strong commitment to uh, renewable energy uh, targets. And I think it's very good for our region if all our uh, countries, especially uh, uh, near the Mekong, greater Mekong region, that can focus on this thing because it will really uh, bring in uh, invest, investors. Nowadays, investors is pretty much, you know, keen to jump in only if we talk about green, uh, you know, energy and uh, protect environment. So, it's very important. Another panel discussion from the summit featured a discussion on Cambodia's potential as a gateway to ASEAN. Cambodia is blessed with Mekong River, Delisa, Basa, Sekong, Sesan, Sreipok, etc. But we have not using our natural resource to the maximum. But we ship through the inland waterway, we had to go through the third country. Obviously, when you go to the third country, you get respect. 
rule and regulation of the country, the immigration, the custom, and so on and so forth, the procedures. But we are planning, planning to build a project called Funan Daiju Canal that will link our inland waterway to the deep sea port of Cambodia. That will save up close to 200 kilometers the distance, so save time, save cost, and also save in the administrative procedure at the border. Investment law is one of the attractive law in ASEAN. Over the past 10 years, we are working closely with the private sector to gathering all the information, all the input from the private sector, and we draft a new taxation law to align with the investment law. Because investment law provides incentive, taxation law don't state anything. So we have to follow the law, the taxation law. That's why last year, the government and the National Assembly managed to adopt the new taxation law to go along the line with the investment law. Thank you.